Okay, so. Uh, basically, I'm gonna talk to you guys about that shower I was uh, mentioning earlier. And I'll, I'll post some pics of, uh, that I took in the process. I didn't really take much. I wasn't really thinking about posting all this back then. But this is basically a little shower I have, which is a 4x7 shower tent for camping. I had in the past where you, you would go camping, I would set it up on a campsite. And this is water here I would run in, except at the campsite, I also had like a water pump uh, to the barrel and stuff going. But it's a Triton 10 liter portable hot water heater instant by Camp Chef. You can see it's been through it's been through a some... rough life. Yeah. But it's still working uh, pretty good. Here's the bottle type. Okay. So what how it, does it, it work? It's random. Basically, it's fed in from a garden hose going into the inlet then it's powered or the i guess the fueled by uh propane tanks mm -hmm. and then uh there's an outlet hose and i put a valve over there it ignites automatically Let's so basically show it. all you gotta do you come in before you take off any clothing there's a valve here you flip the valve you hear the igniter going and you'll see the flame right up in there can you see it i don't know Okay. So there you, you go, you can see it now. Cold, hot. Yeah, you can adjust the temperature of the water. Then uh, basically you turn it on, you let this thing uh, heat up. Well, you, it, sh it takes only like 10 seconds to heat up, but while it's doing that and run the water through the hose, you remove your clothing. Throw it in this uh, bucket right here. So we have do not touch. Lid one dirty, uh, actual one clean because it's dirty. So basically, uh, you take, open it up, put your clothing in there, cover it, and you don't touch up until uh, you're ready to take it out or the next time. So then you come in with the other. Try to use the other hand uh, from the one you use the uh, for open. Open this up and stop in. You'll you see steam coming out. And this last setting was in a pretty high setting because my wife loves hot, hot, hot burning showers. <laughs> yeah, I can't really. Thank you. Which, by the way, we need another bottle of shampoo. I think I'm almost running out there. Last night. And then to shut it off when you get out, all you gotta do is just flip this one up. It turns and it, off. Er, everything's turned off. We have a, with a cooler. A cooler here. With towels oh it's wet because it was raining yeah it was raining and this cooler apparently is not watertight as so we, we would like it to put be a different cooler in here either or maybe the rains are gonna be gone soon but this so is we'll where see. we have like the towel and socks so i need to wash that up too so you come out you go back inside the tent dry yourself up and run for the house by the way this is a uh, four by seven tent by northwest territory I don't know if they still sell them. I've had this tent for, I want to say five, six years now. And you, put it, and you put it on pallets. Yeah, I had a uh, four by eight uh, pallet. So this tent. So it's in a, through a four by eight piece all, of plywood. All the water comes out. Yeah. It's, I wouldn't it's, be touching the back side of it. Because it's low to the back and that's where all the coronas coming up of us. But this is the side. It felt kind of slowed back that way, so it's away from uh, the front. Also, another pallet just as a landing, kind of to keep your propane tanks on and uh, where you do some changing. Okay, I'm ready to catch up. There you have it.